बंगाल के कोलकाता दुर्गा पूजा को यूनेस्को ने हेरिटेज टैग का दर्जा दिया है दो हजार बाईस इंटरनेशनल पूजा It has been accorded heritage status by the UNESCO, the first festival in all of Asia to receive such an honor. It's a proud moment for India, from the Prime Minister to the Chief Minister of Bengal. Reactions are pouring in from all sides of the political spectrum. Here's a report. It celebrates feminine divinity. It marks the victory of good over evil. It has now brought glory to the country. The festival of Durga Puja in Kolkata has been bestowed with an international honor. It has been accorded heritage status by the UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. It has inscribed Durga Puja as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity, meaning it is a non-physical intellectual token of India's rich culture, a culture which should be safeguarded through global recognition. It is a proud moment for the state of West Bengal and a red letter moment for all Indians. because this is the first festival in all of asia to get such a recognition from a global body the decision was taken during the 16th session of unesco's intergovernmental committee the committee commended kolkata's durga puja for its initiatives in involving marginalized groups also for celebrating the spirit of womanhood india is elated with the honor Reactions are pouring in online. The Prime Minister has hailed it as a matter of great pride and joy, calling Kolkata's Durga Puja an experience everyone must have. The Chief Minister of West Bengal says she is beaming with joy. She says the Durga Puja is not just a festival but an emotion. India's Ministry of Culture is overjoyed as well. It has called the festival a confluence of India's art, craft and rich culture. It certainly is. And with UNESCO's honor, it will only grow in prominence. A UNESCO tag to the festival means global recognition, which in return could lead to a revamp of infrastructure, civic amenities and working conditions for all artists and organizers involved in setting up those magnanimous Durga Pandals each year. So far UNESCO's list of intangible heritage has a total of 492 elements. Out of this 14 are from India. This includes Kutiyattam, a form of Sanskrit theater practiced in the state of Kerala. Vedic chanting, an ancient Hindu tradition of reciting Vedic literature. Ram Leela, a traditional performance of the Hindu epic Ramayan. Raman, a religious festival in the state of Uttarakhand, marked with the recitation of various local legends. The Chhau dance from eastern India, a traditional dance form that enacts episodes from Mahabharat and Ramayan. The Kalbeliya folk songs and dances of Rajasthan, performed primarily by women who replicate the movements of a serpent as men accompany them with a percussion instrument. The Mudiyetu from Kerala, a ritual dance form based on a battle between goddess Kali and the demon Darika. The Buddhist chanting of Ladakh, a recitation of sacred Buddhist texts performed in monasteries and villages in Ladakh. Sankirtana, an annual ritual from the state of Manipur which celebrates the life of the Vaishnava people. In 2014, the craft of Thateras from Punjab made it to the list. It is a traditional technique of making brass and copper utensils in Punjab. In 2017, the festival celebrated as New Year by the Parsi community of India was also included in UNESCO's list. As was the practice of yoga. 
and Kumbh Mela, the largest congregation of pilgrims on the entire planet. Bureau Report, we on World is One.